celebrating more than 30 years of original design. At Creative Matters, we create original, high quality, and ethically produced floor covering and wall coverings using the highest principles of design, production, and humanitarianism, all in the spirit of excellence, professionalism, and integrity. We use our imagination, skills, and talents to realize awe-inspiring designs and luxurious, sustainable creations. We work together with our team, partners, and clients to achieve the very best result. We pay attention to the smallest details and work to ensure unsurpassed product quality and service. We make decisions based on mutual respect for each other, our artisans, business partners, and the environment. We are open, honest, and deliver on our promises. The services that Creative Matters provides include handmade area rugs, machine-made broadloom, vinyl and needle felt wall coverings, and what we call our floor to ceiling program. In the following presentation, we will go through in detail the variety of rug, carpet, and wall covering qualities we can produce, as well as showcasing custom projects demonstrating each one in context. There are a variety of ways to customize a rug or wall covering design at Creative Matters. We like to start by understanding the scope of the project and your overall vision for the space. There is a well of inspiration we can pull from. Fabrics, finishes, mood boards. Perhaps there's an element in the architecture that you'd like us to reference, or an image you found online that we could use as inspiration. It could also just be a conversation. I recall a designer years ago asking us to imagine standing at the foot of a serene lake. Take a pebble, drop it in, then seconds later drop another and draw what you see. This is the exciting part of what we do, and our team of talented designers are here to help create that design in line with your vision. Another way to customize designs is through our lookbooks. We have three inspired books that are on our website. They stem from our art days, which we'll talk about later in the presentation. Here's an example of a piece that a designer chose from our Inspired 2 lookbook. We tweaked the colors slightly to match their finishes, and because the timelines were so tight, we went straight into production without a sample. Using this concept from our lookbook really streamlined the design process and allowed the client to get two custom rugs in very little time. We have a total of 11 meticulously designed area rug collections. While these have been developed in the hand knotted quality with Tibetan wool and Chinese silk, we are able to reinterpret the design to your needs, whether it's hand tufted for the public areas in a hotel or machine made goods such as Woven X Minster for a retail space. Customizing from our collections is a great way to expedite the overall process. To summarize our customization process, we focus on these key elements. Quality, shape, color, scale, and detail. I just want to touch on two of these for a bit, the first being shape. This is one that I think is a huge benefit when it comes to customizing, whether it's for aesthetic purposes, like in the lookbook example, with the interesting shaped round rug, or whether it's a unique shaped space that we need to accommodate, this can easily be done through customizing. Color is the other element that we find to be one of the most important aspects in making the rug or carpet fit your space. We have recently come up with our own Creative Matters Palm Box to help streamline the color choosing process. We are planning to get more of these out to our designers to use as reference. Along with this box, we are currently working on an additional set that includes brighter accent colors. We are proud to have Label Step as our fair trade partner for our handmade area rugs and carpets. LabelStep is an international nonprofit organization promoting fair trade in the handmade rug industry. They promote environmentally friendly production methods, improve working and living conditions of carpet weavers, ensure there is no child labor in the mills within their territories, such as Afghanistan, Iran, Nepal, India, Turkey, and Pakistan. As a licensed LabelStep fair trade partner, we are committed to fair trade throughout our handmade carpet supply chain. Our mills meet or exceed our high standards from fair labor standards, including no child labor, to environmental protection and production quality. In this first set, we will be looking at our handmade qualities. Our first being our hand knotted, which we do mostly out of Nepal. We use Tibetan wool and Chinese silk in a hundred knot construction. This is an example of a collection piece that we will sell to our rug retailers. Here's a Persian knot from Afghanistan. There is such great richness in the variation of how the yarns are dyed. And this piece is a collaboration with artist Christy Belcourt, 
working so nicely with the varied yarn colors. We also do hand knotting in India, where they use an Indo-Tibetan knot. The look is more rustic and more cost-effective than from Nepal or Afghanistan. The design is a bit more limited to gradations or simple patterning. Here we have the Shinola Hotel in Detroit. This project really showcases the beautiful Persian hand knotting from Afghanistan, where the design was kept very simple and the craftsmanship of the rugs was most prominent. And here is the dressing room of the department store Holt Renfrew using the Indo-Tibetan quality in a subtle, elegant gradation. Let's take you on a little trip to our mill where they specialize in the traditional hand-knotted quality. Located just outside Kathmandu, surrounded by the Himalayan mountains, our dye masters practice the age-old method of vat dyeing, still with a keen eye for color as the generations before them. Once the yarn is dyed, we move on to the balling process where each ball of yarn is created and carefully labeled. This rug that our talented artisans are weaving is Dream Vibrant from our 25th anniversary collection. Made with hand-spun Tibetan wool and the finest Chinese silk, each knot follows the printed full-scale artwork fastened to the warp just above. Knot by knot, row by row, an expert weaver can complete around seven centimeters a day. Once a row is completed, a sharp blade slices across the dowel before proceeding to the next row. This is what gives the hand knotted quality that signature lineal texture. Once the weaving is complete, the rug is then brought to the finishing department where the rug is carefully inspected and where further adjustments are made. The rug is then lightly sheared to achieve a consistent pile height and texture throughout. This is the part where they singe the back of the rug to remove any excess fiber and allows for a clean finish. Next stop is the washing department, where the rug is put in a bath for about an hour, then washed vigorously with wooden paddles. It's this friction that brings out the beautiful sheen in the wool. The combing of the rug removes the excess fluff left over from the weaving phase. One last inspection before the rug is shipped. Introducing our latest collection, Halcyon. 11 statement designs and colorways reflecting the Greek myth about the Halcyon bird that had the power to calm the rough ocean waves every December so it could nest. In a turbulent world, these soft lines and gentle hues bring comfort and a sense of peace. Feel free to view the entire collection the next time you visit our website. From the Halcyon collection, a rug named Marlowe is inspired by wave ripples as they reach out to the shore, exploring the soothing curves and subtle overlapping shapes. We started with a series of digital sketches before we finalized the composition and palette. Next, we have our hand tufting that we primarily do out of Thailand. It's a beautiful construction that is durable and dense and perfect for commercial use. It is equally good for residential with its versatility in design and texture. Here is a residential project that uses cut and loop pile, different pile heights, and wool and silk combinations to produce a rich, lush design reminiscent of foliage. The designer's request was to emulate looking up into the night sky under a canopy of trees which I think was achieved beautifully. This next sample shows a technique that allows for an intricate dotted line that is embedded into a cut pile background. The dots are produced by a thick felted wool that is tufted in loops. It would be very difficult to get this level of detail with regular tufting, 
So we collaborated with our mill to come up with this clever technique. The next couple show some great texture through varying pile heights and carving. And here are the finished products in a residential space. This sample shows a technique called J-Pile, which emulates the subtle lines of hand knotting. It helps to break up the flat surface of hand tufting. The next few projects reveal amazing texture and pattern just through design and rich coloration. Here is some nice textural detailing with the cut and loop pile for this dynamic round rug designed for a commercial setting. And next we have Bergdorf Goodman, a high-end jeweler in New York City. This was a very large piece we did, approximately 40 by 50 feet. You can see the scaffolding with the army of tufters working away on the piece. In this video, you can see the process of hand tufting with a pneumatic tufting gun. The weaver fills in the areas in sort of a paint by numbers approach, allowing her to continue with one color at a time. In this next section, we will look at our flat woven area rugs. These are woven in India and have an inherent rugged texture that bring a warm, cozy atmosphere to a room. Traditionally, these have been set aside for residential applications, but we are finding more and more that hotels are desiring to bring that coziness into the suites. Here we have the Eaton Hotel. The suites are lined with thick wool durries, while in the washrooms we've done the same technique in small mats using polypropylene to accommodate the water. This can be used for outdoor applications with the same look as wool. With this renewed interest in flat woven rugs, we have developed a collection using durries that we call stacked. Inspired by wabi-sabi techniques, these pieces are woven separately and then layered together with hand stitching accents. The combination of cut pile and flat weaves, needlework, and hints of pattern result in a fresh bohemian look that will relax any space. This is another texture example that can be achieved in flat woven. And this next slide shows an interesting sumac weave that looks like it's braided, done in linen and wool. And here are a couple more hospitality projects using flat woven rugs. The Bisha Hotel in Toronto. And here for Kimpton, we did a basket weave that allows the warp colors to show through, creating more of a plaid look. We've made some great advances with Woven X Minster over the years. Barber pulling the yarns allows us to create smoother transitions required for designs needing a more subtle interpretation. There is also the option of shiny nylon to emulate silk and can be used as an accent. This type of broadloom is generally used in the hospitality sector and is known for its highly durable 80% wool and 20% nylon fiber combination. Next up, we have our dye injected quality. We have mills in Europe and in the US. This is a good direction to go when machine made is desired, but the quantities do not allow for CYP or Woven X Minster. We can do this in loop or cut, and the caliber of our dye injected is very good. The fibers are almost fully penetrated to have lasting color. Here are some areas we did in Holt Renfrew as wall to wall carpeting. and then some examples of dye injected bound along the edges to be used as area rugs. And this one is installed into a well for an elevator lobby. Mostly used in hospitality projects, we offer a range of machine-made carpet. This photo shows an example of our machine tufted solution dyed nylon. It's one of our most cost-effective options for large volume projects. And with the right design and palette, we can create something quite sophisticated, as seen here at the Four Seasons in Whistler. Here is the same quality as an inset for the Washington State Airport. For the Andaz in Ottawa, we strategically place the details for this design in each suite in relation to the furniture placement, as illustrated in our flooded plans prior to manufacturing. With our marine division, we do things a bit differently. 
Here we provide custom carpet design and color services without the manufacturing. We were approached by Royal Caribbean to streamline the long design process and to reduce the amount of sampling involved. Sometimes there would be up to 50 samples for a particular area. With our help, they were able to reduce sampling down to a handful, as well as updating the designs to a more contemporary look. A challenge in cruise ship design can be the restraints of small repeats and few colors. And we work not only with the cruise ship, but also with the interior designers they have contracted for particular spaces. So at times it can be tricky to get everyone on the same page. This is an example of one space we were called to work on called Blue Restaurant. Here is a mood board showing the watery effect they were looking for in cobalt blue coloration. Some initial concepts were presented and then one was chosen and shown in a few colorways. Here is the chosen design and color placed in the floor plan, then actual yarns chosen to match the finishes, and then the final design in the space. On our website, you can scroll through and see some nice examples of the different patterns that were created for various areas of cruise ships. Creative Matters offers custom PVC-free vinyl wall coverings in a variety of substrates, printed with eco-friendly dyes. When we were approached by Jansen Goldstein for the Westside Project, a New York-based boutique with a laid-back California feel, we immediately went to our acrylic ink stash and played with shibori dyeing techniques to get that elevated tie-dye look. And here's another collaboration with Christy Belcourt for the Toronto Birthing Center. Our polyester needle felt wall covering is a more luxurious upgrade from our digital vinyl wall covering. This substrate is suitable for most areas as it has flame certification and bleach resistance. It's great for commercial and hospitality use as well as for residential, of course. The design capabilities are a bit more limited than the printed. These patterns are all made by hand, but we can still achieve a variety of looks as you can see in these examples from very feathered to clean graphic lines. Here's another area of the Andes Hotel. We did the headboard walls as well as the corridors. This is a great quality for sound absorption. It visually as well as acoustically softens the space. Our floor to ceiling program was developed for the hospitality sector. Clients are able to take advantage of volume pricing when Creative Matters develops and manufactures the full scope of carpet, rug, and feature wall covering requirements. All aspects are customized, allowing Creative Matters more quality and color control, ensuring each of these facets work together in harmony. The result is a cohesive interpretation of the designer's vision of the project. The award-winning Andaz in Ottawa is a perfect example of one of our successful floor-to-ceiling projects. We work closely with four different mills to outfit the areas included in our scope. There is much involvement with the coordination and management side of a project like this, which is a valuable part of the floor-to-ceiling service. Our day at Creative Matters has developed over the years as artwork had shifted from being done by hand to computer-generated. The artwork started to feel stiff and rigid, and there was a desire from the team to go back to its creative roots. This is when Art Day emerged as an afternoon activity that would be set aside every few months to focus on a technique or subject matter. Once the Art Day was completed, the works were scanned or photographed and put into our system, from which our concepts could be developed digitally by layering, manipulating, and recoloring to produce new artworks. These designs became a nice blend of handmade with the capacity for sophisticated production. Once these Art Day concepts are developed, they are archived and used for new collections, custom work, as well as going into these inspired lookbooks. These are a great resource for designers to draw from for custom rug and wall covering designs. These can be found on our website. As well, we can send hard copies for designers' libraries. Here is a quick checklist for us to get started on a project with you. Design inspiration. Whether you send us your mood boards or you select from our catalogs, we'd be happy to get started on some concepts for you. Budget. If we can get an understanding of the price point we need to meet, this will allow us to make an informative choice on which qualities to proceed with and sample right from the start. Floor plans. 
These will allow us to understand the scope of the project and determine sizes and quantities for quoting purposes. We also like to insert the designs into the floor plans to ensure it complements the scale of the furniture. Project location. Again, for quoting purposes, to estimate shipping and duty costs. Required specification. If there is a spec we need to follow, let us know. But if not, then we can make our own recommendations based on the level of traffic and durability requirements. Deadline. If a project has a tight timeline, we offer our clients an itemized schedule that outlines each step of the development and shipping times, noting anticipated action dates required by Creative Matters and the designer. We also have a logistics department that aims to ensure our goods are delivered on time 